Hey there Block IoT family! Welcome back to another exciting journey into the world of industrial connectivity. Today we are diving into the remote connectivity in the industrial environments with Siemens Cinema Remote Connect or Cinema RC. So imagine having the power to access your remote plants or machines with just a click, no matter where they are. Cinema RC is your ticket to easy and secure teleservice and remote maintenance. Cinema RC isn't just another software on your servers, it's your VIP pass to hassle-free management of those tunnel connections. So picture this. Headquarters, service technicians, and those mighty machines all under one digital roof. It's like having your own virtual backstage pass to the industrial concert of the century. But hold on your hard hats, because setting up the secure connection is a breeze. Your service technicians and the machine just tap into the CinemaRC server like old pals exchanging secret handshakes, certificates fly around, identities get confirmed, and voila, remote access unlocked. It's like the VIP lounge, but for your machine or plant. And here is the genius part. All licenses and softwares or add-ons are managed centrally. No more hunting around for that mysterious updates. It's all in one place on your server, which can be hosted on a cloud instance or on your own computer at the office or on site. And for the tech wizards out there, we've even got a REST API up our sleeves, automating tasks and making large installations a walk in the digital park. So whether you're cruising through the airwaves, riding the DSL Express, or navigating through your private network wonderland, CinemaRC is your guide. And hey, speaking of guides, Siemens scale and industrial routers have your back for connecting to those remote networks. So buckle up because today we are not just talking the talk, we are walking the secure remote access walk. It's all happening here right on Block IoT. So please hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and let's get started with the ultimate Cinema RC experience. Okay, as you may already know, networking and overall security and cybersecurity in the industrial environment particularly is very complicated. But I'll try to keep things simple and I want to show you how CinemaRC works in a real life example. So that's why I prepared this demo for you and after understanding what's the purpose of this video and training, we'll go into the detail and I'll show you what pieces of software and hardware would you need in case you want to have a remote connection to your site or on your machine. So here's the demo that we have and it's pretty much the same concept in any industrial application. As you can see here, I have a laptop which has a TI portal running. My laptop laptop is connected to the internet via a router. It really doesn't matter if it's wireless or wired connection. You just need an internet connection on your laptop. So this could be a technician laptop or an engineer or someone in the headquarters who just want to know what's going on in the plant. So on the left side, we have a few devices. Don't worry, I'll show you the data sheet and what they are exactly and what they do. But just to know, we have two pieces of hardware, one for connecting to the local Wi-Fi and the other one to make a connection to the CinemaRC server. And of course, there is a CinemaRC server installed somewhere, which in my case is in a cloud instance sitting somewhere on the internet. But again, one of the beauty of CinemaRC is you can take control of everything and you can install the CinemaRC server on a local machine, which normally is an industrial PC or IPC, which gives you the full control of your system and your machine. So as you can see on this demo, I have S7 1200 CPU. And the ultimate goal of this video is to show you how you can remotely download from the TI portal, which could be anywhere in the world, to a PLC or HMI, which also could be anywhere in the world. And we just don't want to be worried about the security, connectivity, and so on. We just want to easily use the software to make all this connection for us. Okay, let's just switch the camera and I want to show you how the setup looks like. As you can see, I just have a power supply on the left side. I have a Wi-Fi module. I'll show you the data sheet again. And also I have this industrial router to make the connection to the CinemaRC server. And this module is receiving the internet connection from this Wi-Fi module. And that's why we have this white cable over here. And on the right side, I have this S7 1200 CPU, which could be a 1500 CPU, 300 or any kind of HMI really doesn't matter. So all I need to do, I just need to connect my CPU to this industrial router, which is connected to my CinemaRC server. 
So there is no physical connection between my CPU and my laptop. And the connection between my CPU and my laptop will be established via the CinemaRC server over the internet. the technical data for the modules that I'm using for this demo. This could be several other type of hardware and really depends on your application. But here as I mentioned I have a Scalance S615 industrial router and also I have a Scalance WUM763-1 which basically acts as a Wi-Fi access point to provide the internet to my industrial router. Again Cinemars is very flexible it supports several different hardware. This could be a cellular module and again it really depends on your application in case you are thinking to have a similar design just consult with your local Siemens sales representative or application engineer and they will help you to figure out a good design okay so that was it for the hardware so we just used two pieces of hardware and for the server side you have two different options you can just easily go to the Siemens industry mall to see different options and if you have an account you can get the pricing and so on so the first option is using the the CinemaRC server as a SAS or software as a service. So in other words, Siemens installs a server for you and they will take care of all the backend and infrastructure so you can use the server to onboard your devices and basically use it as a tool. You don't need to be worried about the installations and so on. Bear in mind, this might not be available in all regions. So again, reach out to your Siemens sales representative to get more information. The second option is owning your own server, which is a unique offering from Siemens uh, they will let you manage everything by yourself this is very important and useful in many industries where cybersecurity is very important and your IT team wants to take care of all the infrastructure by themselves so as you can see here you have different options there are too much information here but just to make it short you will need one license for the server side and definitely it depends how many devices you want to onboard and what features do you need for example if you need to interact with your server through the REST APIs there is a license for that if you want to manage your users via a central management system there is another license for that and overall there are different upgrade packs which gives you the opportunity to board more devices this is a very reliable platform and you can add thousands of devices into one single server okay this was the components used in our demo let's just dive into the details and I'll show you how to use the software and overall how the VPN connection is established and let's see how we can download remotely to our PLC from TIA portal So when dealing with CinemaRC platform, you normally deal with two different things. One on the server side and one on the client side. On the client side, which is very easy to use, I'll show you in a bit. All you need to do is just entering your username and password and selecting which network you want to connect to. But on the server side, for sure you can add your devices and you can manage the users and so on. So here is how a typical server looks like. I'll just log into the server and of course I have to gray out the IP addresses and all the critical information but you can get the idea how it looks like and overall how it works if you log in as an administrator you will have these options on the left as you can see the user interface or UI is pretty simple and easy to understand on the left side you have remote connection which shows you which devices are connected to these servers you can update different devices and you can manage your users you can manage security and so on Siemens has a detailed video on setting up the server and also the client so I won't spend much time on that so on this demo server as you can see I have three devices devices onboarded and two of them are right now online and one of them is offline. So as you can see it's very easy to see which device is online and offline. So that's about the server side. Again please refer to the Siemens official video about the server if you want to get more information. I just wanted to show you how it looks like. And let's jump into the client and see how we can actually use and connect to this server. So here I have logged into the laptop that TI portal is installed. As I mentioned, this could be a technician laptop or a management laptop who just want to access some HMI dashboard remotely. The 
process is very easy. All you need to do is just installing the CinemaRC client, which will be provided by Siemens. So after installing the CinemaRC client, all you need to do, just double click on the software. And for the first time, you just need to enter your server information and for sure your server URL and the username and password that the administrator of the system has provided to you. So let's just log into the system and connect to the server remotely. Okay, as you can see on the client side, I can also have a quick overview of the connected devices and easily monitor which device is online or offline. For sure, the administrator can limit you what you can see and what you cannot. So for now, I just want to connect to this device and that's the device that is on my table that I just showed you. So with just a few clicks, I can easily connect to that device remotely. So I just hit the connect. And just after a few seconds, the connection is established securely. So right now we have a VPN tunnel connection between my laptop and the CinemaRC server and also the device. So it's like I'm sitting right next to my device, which could be anywhere in the world. And now you can go to your TIA portal. And here I just have a very simple project. I just have my S7 1200 CPU. Let's just make some modification in the program and do a download. So I just want to add a branch. I just go 0.1 Q 0.1. So it's important to know you don't need to do any change on the project or TIA portal. Everything is done by the CinemaRC client and the server and your remote connection is established. To download, select your device. And here I just want to show you from a scratch. So I just do extended download. And here's the trick. When you perform the download, right now I don't have any physical connection. But when you install the client software, you will get this tapped Windows adapter, which should be familiar for those who are familiar with VPN. So just select the tapped Windows adapter and just do a search. Okay, as you can see, the TIA portal has found my hardware which is a PLC in my example and this could be an HMI or any other device and as you can see the user interface is exactly the same all I did was just selecting a different network adapter and I just simply select and do a load this is just a regular download and from this point on we don't need to even think about the VPN or remote connection it's like exactly going to a remote site and working with our PLC in front of the panel Okay, as you can see, the loading has been completed and I can just go online with my PLC if I just want to remotely troubleshoot a code. For example, here I see there is an error in my PLC. Let's just go and find out the error. Okay, in this case, I have a thermocouple card connected to my S7-1200 CPU and it seems like the high limit error has been activated. So let's just go and deactivate that and do another download. Okay, I just go to the properties of the thermocouple cards or signal boards. And as you can see, the overflow diagnosis has been enabled. And because I don't have any sensor connected to my card, I'm getting that error. So let's just disable those. For sure, I cannot do it online. I just need to go offline first, apply my changes. And after saving my project, I can perform another download to my CPU. You just select your CPU, hit the download. And as you can see for the second time, because I have already selected the tap adapter, the TIA portal already knows that it needs to connect to that tap adapter. So we don't need to repeat the process again and everything will be done automatically for you. Okay, now let's go online with our CPU again. Make sure the error has been resolved. Okay, as you can see right now everything is green and there is no error in your CPU. Let's just quickly look into the hardware and make sure there is no red LED or error message on the CPU as well. As you can see over here, the lights on my PLC are green and I can just verify that by quickly taking a look at on my TI portal online monitoring. And those who have worked on site can understand how much time you can save by using a system like this to remotely access your plants or on your machine. Okay, that was it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. Please let me know what you think. If you are using a different VPN solution to remotely connect to your plant or your machine, let me know and what you think about it. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to the Block IoT YouTube channel, follow our LinkedIn page, give us some motivation to keep going and make more videos for you. Until the next time, have a great day or night.